Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can create a data factory in Azure. Now, uh, one thing I need to tell you is, we have something called resource group, uh, which is present inside a subscription. So one subscription can have multiple resource groups and in each particular resource group there can be multiple resources now what we mean by resources is it can be any any azure resource it can be a virtual machine app service database cosmos db your storage account your data factory and so on right now in this video we will see how we can create an azure data factory in this right firstly what you need to do is you need you can even go to your resource group or you can directly click on data factory once you click on this data factory you will see this page now here you can see I have no data factory in my current subscription right now what I need to do is I need to create a data factory for that you need to click on top left corner you need to click on create button once you click on create button you will be redirected to this portal you need to select in which subscription you want to create this data factory in which resource group you want to create a data factory if you have nodes resource group definitely you can create a new one from here I have one so I will be uh, using it I guess it is not available maybe I have deleted so we can quickly create one you can just uh, give it any name I am giving it demo uh, like uh, prod something like that I will press ok and it will create a new resource group now I will give my data factory name so I'll say data factory uh, maybe all small prod uh, maybe p p q something like that now I need to tell the region so it is already taken so I will just uh, append some words something like this I guess it is fine it is giving me a tick now I need to uh, tell the region now this need to be selected carefully if you are working on a real life project in on a real project because uh, it deals with the data right data factory deals with your data so let's say your customer is from East US now you need to make sure you select after confirming it from your customer itself the reason being different different policies are there for storing data in different different countries there are a different set of rules so ne you need to make sure you ask your client uh, which region you want and then definitely you can go for that now we have two versions of data factory currently v2 is only the active one earlier we used to have v1 which is deprecated so simply you will be selecting v2 next is git configuration if you want to configure your data factory with the git like you want to do the version control thing right you will do you can just untick it and you can just write the project name repo name branch name and root folder and definitely you can link it with either azure devops or github no uh, you know uh, like uh, compatibility is there for GitLab or something others right other version control systems only compatibility is for github or azure devops now you, I, I'll go for uh, configure it later so you can go for networking if you want to enable some private endpoints you can do it uh, but I will go for public one uh, again we have something in advance so we can uh, enable encryption and all there we can give tags like uh, we can give it a tag so that we can assess it easily if you have multiple data factories in the resource group and the final one is review and create if everything you have done correctly it will run a validation check so it is running a validation check it will tell whether the validation passed or failed now it showed it is passed that means I am uh, good to go by creating this data factory so my subscription name is this resource group is demo prod name is data factory prod PQAA uh, region I have selected is East US and the version is V2 and I'm going for public endpoint now what is a public endpoint that means anybody will be or anybody in this basically group like in my Azure directory group will be able to assess this right if I do go for private endpointing what happen is let's say I have a private endpointing with uh, I want to connect my data factory with the SQL database now there will be a pr we can create a private endpoint I need to create a private endpoint then only it will be able to assess the data of the SQL otherwise if there is no private endpointing it will not be able to do that but if I talk about public in public you can connect with anything anytime uh, no need of uh, you know uh, the high things right so this is the basic now we are ready to create it so I'll just click on create 
and it will take some time and your data factory will be created so it is uh, showing me it is uh, showing submitting deployment so internally you know it will be creating a data factory for you and in within a fraction of seconds you will be able to assess it so most probably it will take some time so deployment is in progress okay it created so we can go to resource to assess our data factory so we can just click on launch studio and definitely we are good to go we can create any object here in data factory you can refer my tutorials for more information on data factory thank you uh, make sure to you know uh, like the video comment anything if you have any questions and definitely subscribe to this channel thank you